Hello everyone, I'm Jia from Tsinghua University. I will be presenting our work, West Trans, Adaptive Transport Protocol Selection for Mobile Web Service. This is a joint work with Enhuan, Zili, Yuan, Ningwei, Yang from Tsinghua University, Sijian and Miao from Baidu. Recently, a sharp increase in the usage of mobile web service has been observed, especially under the COVID-19. Real-time video applications are widely used. For those applications, latency is the most significant factor on quality of user experience. Mobile web service providers strive to reduce the latency and improve mobile web performance. Applications deliver their content to users by the underlying transport protocols. To cater for the increasing stringent requirements from mobile web service, it's necessary to rethink current transport layer protocols. The two common protocols, TCP and QUIC, cannot always perform better than the other one. QUIC is proposed for low latency and solve the TCP problems. Also, with proper designs on the handling of packet retransmissions, Quick achieves better performance than TCP in the scenario with high loss rate. However, Quick works in the user space, which brings higher CPU overhead. The mobile devices with limited computation resource might experience performance degradation. Also, Quick adopts UDP. Since UDP traffic is more likely to be adopted as malicious attack traffic, ISP gateways or home routers might have additional QoS strategies by randomly dropping, rate limiting, or even blocking UDP traffic. This further affecting the performance of Quick. Therefore, under different network conditions, Quick and TCP performs differently. Specifically, Quick performs better under high loss rate, while under good conditions, Quick performs worse due to computation resource limit. Using a fixed transport protocol for all requests will result in sub-optimal performance. Though, since no single protocol could achieve consistent low latency, why not always use the better one? By adaptively switching transport protocols, Mobile users can therefore enjoy benefits from both protocols and have a better experience when using mobile web service. However, it is non trivial to select protocols in a large scale real world deployment of mobile web service. First, wireless link fluctuation between the temporal heterogeneity of network conditions during the connection. Then, wide range of users and variable ASP strategies result in the high spatial heterogeneity, which makes the problem more unpredictable. Further, for deployment, handling the two abroad challenges on mobile devices with limited resource is much more complicated. To address the three challenges and the large scale deployment, we make three key designs. Thus, I'm going to introduce Wise Trans, an adaptive transport protocol selection mechanism to improve the performance of mobile web service. Here comes the detailed challenges and designs. Firstly, as you may know, wireless network fluctuates due to various channel feeding, user moving, or network congestion. For example, when a user is moving, the link capacity at RDT changes in a short time with running loss. Therefore, the optimal protocol might also change with time. Precisely measuring the current natural condition and capturing, capturing the temporal relationship are important, but also challenging due to the complex correlation of natural statistics. The rules for selection will be complex. 
So to handle the complex temporal relationship during a collection while ensuring the simplicity for large-scale deployment, we employ a tree-based classification algorithm, XGBoost. It is expressive enough. XGBoost is capable of precisely capturing the relationship and has a satisfactory classification accuracy of around 90%. As a tree-based algorithm, XGBoost is lightweight and could be efficiently executed on mobile devices in a negligible time. Also, deploying the classifier online in a production environment also requires the model to be interpretable and verifiable. Advances in the machine learning community has demonstrated the verifiable ability and robustness of tree-based models. Secondly, for widely deployed mobile web service, users may come from different regions using different ISPs and home devices. Those in network devices might have different preferences towards UDP, which will consequently affect the performance of Quick. In another scenario, the access network and ASP changes will use the rules, which will bring the selection rules changes. For example, when home routers randomly drop UDP packets, applications should tend to use TCP for, retrans for transmission, just like the right figure. Then, if the user works out of the room and uses cellular network, the rules may change as the figure shows. Also, since Quick has not been standardized, users may adopt different Quick and HTTP3 versions and implementations. Therefore, different users may experience different selection rules. Which may even change with time. To address this challenge, we observe that Simply considering natural conditions cannot optimize protocol selection for individual users. For example, only use the natural conditions cannot find that home users may randomly drop UDP packets. While the spatial heterogeneity of users could be learned by the combination of historical natural conditions, historical decisions, and the performance of those decisions. Specifically, we use round trip time, bottleneck boundaries, and packet loss rate to model a network path. Also, we consider the transport protocols and their subsequent ADP level performance to jointly optimize the transport protocol selection. The complex and changing rules may make the applications more highly weight and resource intensive. While well, for mobile web service, there is not enough computation resource storage and memory on the mobile devices, which makes it much more challenging to deploy. Considering the limited resource on the mobile device, we carefully decide the proper operating granularity of the protocol switching algorithm. We consider three kinds of granularities. A web page contains lots of requests, and a request can be sliced into several packets. However, the page load time is usually one to three seconds or longer, which is too long to track the temporary natural condition. But since natural conditions usually do not frequently change within a few RTs, Request level and packet level is enough. Then, considering the limited resource on the mobile device, overhead is our first consideration. Packet level measurements at the protocol stack might result in burdensome overhead by frequently querying the statistics of network stack. Moreover, Packet level decisions you will need to modify the protocol stack, which is impractical for web service providers. 
In contrast, request level environment alleviates the overhead issue. It lowers the query frequency and memory for recording the statistics. Also, switching between requests requires less modification of kernel. Moreover, operators need to consider the consistency during the protocol switching. For example, if we switch the protocol at the packet level, the different status of TCP link and quick link will disorder the packets within one request. Reordering at receiver requires more overhead. Also, it will cause additional delay because the packets cannot be delivered to the applications. In contrast, one request does not depend on the completion of other requests in one page of mobile web service. Thus, we do not need to guarantee the order of request completion and reduce the overhead at the client side. Here's the overview of restaurants. Restaurants matters raw statistics for each user of the mobile web service. Then, a tree-based classifier selects a better transport protocol based on features. To correct and expected behaviors caused by the preference of network devices or the decisions of the protocol classifier, West Trans checks if the user needs to roll back the selection with a rollback checker before putting the protocol selection into effect. In summary, we implement WestTrans on two platforms in Baidu, Hokan Video, and we evaluate the performance of WestTrans against a fixed transport protocol in the real world. Comprehensive experiments demonstrate that WestTrans can reduce request completion time and show significant improvement on the tail latency compared to the usage of a single protocol. This is a brief introduction of West Trans, and welcome to our papers for more details. Thank you, and I'd like to take some questions.